Hello, sir. Oh, he looks good in a uniform. <laughs> oh, yeah. Soul Soul Simmers, and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Pack Legacy Challenge. A legacy challenge where every generation is a new pack and we get to play through all of them. We are back with Yule, and last episode, we actually decided for him that he's going to do the grilled cheese aspiration, which actually, I still, I thought about it after or like while watching back the previous episode, and I was like, talk to the Grim Reaper about grilled cheese. We should be able to make that happen, I think. I, we'll, we'll just have to be a little bit creative, but that should be possible right but eat a grilled cheese sandwich in space you know how much work it takes for your sim to be able to travel to space like you need to build a rocket and everything so i think this is gonna take up quite a lot of our time so i would like to kind of get started on the first little bits of the aspiration today he also joined the detective career which means that in 16 hours you're gonna have her very first work day i've never done the detective career i'm very stoked i haven't really replaced the precinct yet that we have to work at i'll probably do that when we get to our like office because i don't think the default precinct or like police station is very nice in game so i might want to replace it kind of like um what i did with the high school and stuff like that and also i finally saw all of your comments on the love story or non-love story with violet and actually kind of everyone agreed that you wanted them to stay friends i know in the previous episode we did a little bit of exploration of like to see you know they kind of messed around they went out on a night they celebrated together maybe got a little bit tipsy they had a kiss but i think i really like the idea of them staying friends i like the fact that they kind of expect experimented with whether their friendship could be more. Someone actually suggested that maybe they just agree to stay friends and then they kind of lose touch because obviously, you know, he starts work, she starts doing her own things and then eventually they're gonna reconnect and she might be the one to suggest to him, hey, if you're not really happy in your job, have you ever thought about pursuing something that is more close to your heart? And that could be a good incentive for him to kind of switch back or like switch his career around. So I really like that idea. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm definitely gonna hang out with Violet a bit more and then there's actually an interaction in the game where you can say like ask to just be friends and i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna let them do that and then they both agree like okay you know what no we're just friends i think we don't want to be anything more and then they're just both gonna live their own lives and that's kind of it until later in life they're gonna reconnect i did realize with that if violet is kind of like gonna do her own thing we need to make sure to make some friends with co-workers like i feel like we need to actually have some people that we can hang around with and i was also thinking maybe this could be like a fitness club or you know maybe at work he can befriend some of the the guys that are also training to be a detective and they can go like running together or they can go to the gym together apparently my neighbor also wants to hang out with me is she at our door you know what this would be a great time to just talk to her let's actually agree to hang out and also who's calling us the number six will be very important to you in the next 24 hours okay whatever i don't care but let's see what our neighbor is up to i'm actually kind of curious i like her outfit they already know each other. Was she in school with us or something? Ooh, she prego. She's very pregnant and she has a baby. I don't think I've ever seen an infant in an apartment. That's interesting. I mean, it's not weird, but it's interesting. Okay, but they're hanging out now. Actually, it would be kind of funky if funky, sure, funky, that's a word. I wanted to say kind of fun, but that just became kind of funky in my brain for him to just hang out with his neighbor for a little bit. And then I would also very much like to hear your thoughts on him moving in with Yuki to be roommates. Also, Bestie, you can't just walk into my house. I was hanging out with Tamika, not with you. Can you please go away? Thank you. That's weird. So we need to tell... Wait, what do we need to do? Such as interacting with ghosts, vampires, or aliens. Carve a pumpkin or play spooky music on the pipe organ. Okay, we don't have a pumpkin carving station and we also don't have anything re rela related to this. Like no vampires, no ghosts, no aliens, no pipe organ. Maybe if he... Maybe it would be would have been great if he was still close to his dad. Then we would have been able to do this. But unfortunately, no. He needs to wear a costume. Also not really in the mood for that so yuki heart would like to come over and hang out sure i feel like yuki hasn't even been to our apartment i think maybe yuki might be like um bestie <laughs> are you sure you want to live here like is that is this really what you want i kind of want to play a game no let's play multiplayer game my sims racing with yuki and tamika that could be fun. They could play some games together. They could just vibe, hang out. It is getting kind of late, so we do need to go to work tomorrow morning. But I like the idea of him not being alone anymore. Actually having some friends, you know? I mean, technically, it is his birthday. I just realized he did have birthday cake, so... I think it is time for you to go away. I think it is time for you to go away. Then we're gonna take a nice quick shower, and then we're gonna hop into bed on time. Because I don't want to be tired for work tomorrow. And we start at 9 a.m. I want to make sure that we arrive at our first work day. 
doing really well. Also, oh my goodness, attempt to repair. I think we can try it out ourselves. Good for our handiness skill after all, which is always a good skill to have in the Sims. Okay, I think he repaired it. Let's go to sleep. Oh no, he now he's, oh, he just, okay, whatever. Go to sleep. Very stinky then. We'll have a shower in the morning. Why did he just wake up in the middle of the night? Because he's so stinky, I think. I promise. I'll make I'm I'll make sure to have him shower before he goes to work. I'm not going to let him go to work this stinky. Okay, it's six in the morning. I think he can wake up. Let's take a quick shower. We'll probably have to take two quick showers for our hygiene to be able to go up because this is absolutely disgusting. Then we need to take a quick pee or poop. You know, morning poops is important. And then we're going to have some tofurkey for breakfast. It's an interesting choice, but hey, yeah, two showers did the job. Perfect. What is happening here why is there why is there green stinky smoke coming out of the floor attempt to repair what is broken here i feel like i'm very confused about that very confused attempt to repair it has like a little smelly nose thing i don't think i've ever seen this before to be fair i've never lived in this specific apartment i think because i hate the neats tlc and i can see why now oh he's just repairing is apparently just cleaning the floor but his handiness skill went up from it i am so curious it's still there though is there is there like a dead body hidden under the floor or something like what's going on there I don't trust this. But I feel like he doesn't have the detective skills yet to figure it out. Okay, landlord is going to come over, so that's good. And he's just watching some TV until he needs to go to work today. They're also just cleaning the floor. Interesting. Let me know in the comments what you guys think is going on here. Hold on. Did he not know need to go to work? It's a holiday. No, it's not. The season's family pictures is not a day off, right? That'd be so silly. It is a day off. Go to work. I wonder if we can go with him. I don't think so. I think he's actually going to go by himself now, which is rather unfortunate. Hello, sir. Oh, he looks good in a uniform. <laughs> Do I feel bad for simping over my sim? Little bit, yes. But also, he's no longer a teenager, so it's not bad anymore. But look at him. He looks good. Okay, Yule is off to work. Going to protect the streets. The only unfortunate thing is that it's our first day as a detective. And because I was super dumb and I put the family pictures as a holiday, uh, we're not actually traveling with him. So let's just fast forward. Luckily, I was going to say luckily we can go to work tomorrow, but we can't because it's day off. I was so looking forward to playing with the detective career today and only because I messed up myself. I really wish that if you say go to work, you could still join them. Why are you sad? Oh, about Halloween. Yeah, we're going to cheat that away because I wasn't planning on celebrating with him anyways what time does he have to work until six okay okay he he got a little dude seriously one day at work and this dude is tense no you're not that's just on that no i mean i get your tense from like your first day at work i get it's it's kind of scary but also no you're not tense from definitely needing a vacation no you don't you literally just start it you dummy then something that i definitely want to do is i want to make grilled cheese you know very important we're gonna make eight servings of grilled cheese and then we're gonna start by talking to three sims about grilled cheese which i feel like would be kind of sad to invite over people to our house and be like hi do you want to talk about grilled cheese so what I think I'm going to do is I am going to go to a bar or something. We're going to go out for a drink. Maybe we can meet up with Violet and Yuki and we can ask them like, hey, do you guys want to join for maybe like a bowling night or something? They could go do something fun. Oh, we could go to the arcade. I haven't been to the arcade in such a long time with my Sims. Oh, we're definitely going to do that. Yeah. And then I'm going to talk to them about grilled cheese because that's obviously still like the main purpose of this social event is for me to be able to rave about grilled cheese. Oh, he's a foodie. Perfect. Is that actually one of his normal tricks? Is that that is one of his traits? Why does that randomly pop up? Like you literally give them a trait yourself and then it pops up as like a foodie lesson. Like I know because I gave them that trait. Well, apparently I don't know because I got very surprised by the pop up. I was like, oh, look at that. He's a foodie. Where should we go? Do I want to go do something fun or do I want to go to like the gym, for instance? No, I think we I think it might be nice if we go do something fun like the arcade. I think the arcade would be a good idea. Let's go here and let's take Yuki and Violet. He's going to show up in his police outfit to an arcade. Arcade. gonna be like hi guys just here to have some fun i guess that's actually not allowed if you're if you actually like work for a police force i don't think you're allowed to wear your uniform when you're off duty because that'd be hella confusing for people wouldn't it so let's actually change his outfit to maybe we can go for his party wear i do like that outfit and then i think we should start by talking to violet uh, ask just to be friends i think we should just get that out of the way with it's like the first time they hang out since they kissed i think he's just gonna come out with it and just ask her be like hey you know what this is this happened the other day i i love you as a friend but i 
I don't think I don't think we should go any further. And I think she's, she's in full agreement with that. Discuss bucket list. Talk about grilled cheese. There we go. Look at him. He's like, oh my god, I discovered something. It is called grilled cheese, and it is amazing. You have to try it too, Violet. It's like evangelizing about grilled cheese. That's actually kind of funny. Yay! He's talking to Yuki about grilled cheese too. Okay, he's like now super excited. He's like, oh my god, I've been talking about grilled cheese so much. I'm gonna go order a drink and talk about grilled cheese. So let's actually go order a drink. Let's order drinks for group. That might be nice. You do have to go inside if you want to order drinks for the group. He's just not doing it. He's like, nah. Can you talk to grilled cheese about someone that you haven't actually known? Because this person just randomly joined our conversation. So now I'm like, okay, fine. You're you're my victim. You're gonna have to listen to me talk about grilled cheese, Mr. What is your name? Your name is Vincent. Dear Vincent, have you ever heard about grilled cheese? That's the question. And if not, oh boy, you are in for a treat. It, it seems like he's enthusiastic about it. He's like, dude, yes. Oh my God, grilled cheese. Finally, someone who understands. That's like such a dude's conversation though. I am curious, what are their sentiments about each other? Vincent's sentiment about you is annoying. He's like, dude, yes, I know about grilled cheese. What does Violet think about us? We do have a new sentiment. Violet's sentiment about you. Oh my God, her crush is going away. He still has a big crush on, on her, but he's decided that he doesn't want to be romantically involved with her. So let's see, he's getting a little bit tired, but I kind of want to do something fun. Let's play a game. Let's play Blick Block. I've always wondered like when your sims are playing this game what are they doing like what's the purpose of this game is it like tetris like a block just kind of zoomed his way he catches it and then he puts it away because this looks like a game i don't know why but it looks like fun i would like to play it oh now he needs to run oh and now he's in attack mode again or like defense mode he needs to avoid the block i'm so confused like what is this game about what is the point i'm so intrigued i am even more intrigued now. You do meet all kinds of people, huh? When you go out to a place. That is so weird. Also, where are my friends? Group dance. <gasps> I want to do a group dance. Oh my goodness, yes. <gasps> Oh, I'm so excited to see what is going on. Oh, I don't think I've ever done this before. Oh, it's like a whole choreo. Oh my goodness, lady, go away. You're st you're standing in my line of sight. I'm trying to enjoy this performance. Oh my goodness, they're like K-pop stars. <laughs> This is so funny. Oh my God, I want to see that again. Can we do another group dance, please? Oh my goodness, this is so good. <laughs> Look at them. This is so funny. Also, the pride flag in the back is so perfect. <laughs> Look at them dancing. Oh, they're such a coordinated group. I love it. Like, you can't tell me that this isn't highly entertaining. I love how they also, like, they're so well choreographed. And then all of a the sudden, they're like, yep, that was it. We're done. What else can we do? Maybe we can blow some bubbles, sit and try together. Look at him. He's actually hanging out in the city with his friends. Also, I don't think I've ever... I I'm not sure if it's because of yesterday's patch, like the, the big or the big, the like the fixed game update that came out. But I don't think I've ever had it that my sim would so consistently stay with the group that they are in. And that when I say like, do something with a group, all of the Sims actually show up. I'm like a bit surprised. I don't think I've ever had this. But look at them just hanging out, blowing some bubbles together. Change flavor. Cosmic encounter. What is he feeling? He's cloudy from using the bubble blower. He's also waved and wangled from motion gaming. He's also exhausted. I mean, that's fair. It is also kind of late. So maybe we should go home. It is like middle of the night. Also, it's a Monday. How is it that? Wait, yeah. Okay. So he has a day off on Monday and Tuesday. Apparently criminals don't work on Mondays and Tuesdays, so neither does he. Where I always forget where this apartment is. There we go. It also doesn't help that with my Not So Berry challenge on Twitch, I also live in the city, but I live like in a different apartment. So every single time when I'm playing on stream, I want to go to this apartment. And every single time I'm playing here, I want to go to the other one. It's very confusing. Uh, but if you ever want to hang out on my Twitch streams, we are currently playing through the doctor's career in the Not So Berry challenge. We're on the plum generation. We're also living in the city. Definitely a different storyline than that we're doing here, but there are some similarities. So if you're enjoying this Let's Play, you might also enjoy that one. But let's actually make sure to go to sleep. Let me make sure to save. Also very important. And then in the morning, we can continue to work on our grilled cheese aspiration by having breakfast with gr grilled cheese. Wow, that's hard to say. Having breakfast with grilled cheese. I need to articulate that very purposefully. 
I don't want to make any mistakes. Hey, I just wanted to say that I think your hair is the perfect length. Thank you, Sylvia. So a really weird call. Considering that we don't know this person, that is strange. I'm just going to let him sleep in because it's day is it is his day off. And I think what I want to do is I want to hit the gym today because as an officer, you need to make sure that you stay in shape, that you're like ready to chase those criminals down the street. Okay, 10 a.m. in the morning sounds like a good time for you to wake up. So you can go pee, you can go shower, and then you're going to have a nice grilled cheese. Welcome to the neighborhood. Wait, the welcome wagon? is here only just now peeps how long have we lived here oh oh someone oh no oh that lipstick is not your color babes no no i mean the eyebrows are definitely a choice as well but you can you can make that work but that lipstick is that's never gonna work for you like a nice bright pop in red that would be your color that is not your color but hey you do you, look look if you wore nice red lip color that would match your boots very well like then you would have such a stylish outfit but right now it's just just, you were so close, so close, yet so far. Also, this lady is holding the fruitcake, but I think she's aware of that she did not bring a good gift because ain't nobody's gonna eat that fruitcake. I think actually I just realized I think the only reason the welcome wagon just showed up is because now the game considers this apartment actually occupied because now there is a young adult living here. Until now, he was a teenager. So I think the game just didn't really consider this apartment taken or something. That's interesting because I'm using mods to be able to live by yourself as a teenager because usually you can't do that in game. Let's throw that out. Oh, I think it would be time to hit the gym. Oh, we cannot travel because there's a social event. I'm sorry. I'm not going to do the welcome wagon. It's just, it's not happening. Maybe next time. Yes, maybe. Potentially. Can't make any promises. Let's actually go to the gym in the city because I don't think we've been there during this playthrough. Maybe once. No, actually, we've been here a lot of times because in the spa day aspiration, that was one of the gyms that worked properly. Not maybe like, I don't think we've been here. Literally previous generation hung out here a ton. That feels like so long ago already. Like it genuinely feels like forever ago when we were trying to grind all the spa day stuff. Or actually, no, I don't think we were here that much. We, we've been here a couple of times, but now that I see this gym, I actually had another gym in mind that we we spend a lot of time out. No, this is a nice one because we can actually go swim laps. It's too cold. Oh, it's an outdoor pool. Oh my good. Wait, why can't I swim laps but not do anything else? How about how? Well, oh my goodness. I was like, oh yeah, of course. No, just go swim. It's a freaking outdoor pool, bro. How about you don't do that and you just do some boxing? Tamika is calling us. It's good to hear your voice, Yule. I wanted to ask you if we should get to know Floyd Goth a little better. Oh my god. Did the Goth family have a kid named Floyd? Like nothing against the name Floyd, but that does not go with the, the last name of Goth. Sorry, but those two don't work in a sentence. Floyd Goth. Yeah, it just doesn't have a ring to it. But sure, why not? Oh my god. I think that was Yule's mom. Sorry, Yuki's mom that just walked in. Miracle's here. Oopsie. She's cute. I really like her hairstyle. Let's go say hi to her. Because again, I feel like we should make some good friends. He's a gym trainer. He looks like a gym trainer. Ask Kendrick to mentor. Wait, I didn't know they could do that. Also his makeup. I'm not sure if you guys saw. That's that's a decision, but I kind of like it. He is like really bold. Look at that. That's cool. I, I respect him for, for going to the gym with that makeup. Oh, look, Violet's here. Oh, that's so cute. They have romance again. They literally agree to just be friends and they have romance again. This game is really pushing me, huh? Are you going to ask him to mentor? Funny introduction. Wait, that option was there, but now it's gone. I didn't know we had gym trainers, by the way. Is that Has that always been a thing? Or is that a mod? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it's one of my mods, but compliment your outfit. I can't find the ask to mentor anymore. Yeah, but he's going to do some more workout a little bit more just to build some extra strength. You know, what's really funny. So I'm currently like relearning how to use my muscles and everything because I've always had like really bad use of my core muscles and stuff. And something I just noticed is that there's like this little animation when your sim is like pulling the weights and it's actually a little bit too heavy where they pull in their knee or like here where he's like kind of pushing his feet together, which is actually I never realized that they animated the fact that your sim is struggling with working out and they're like trying to figure out how to do the move correctly because earlier there was like one where on some he was using his core strength correctly and then on some he was like compensating with his leg i don't think i've ever noticed these things because i never realized that's not how you were supposed to do it and that was wrong see here he pushes in his leg which is not what you're supposed to do wrong correct all along i should have just been watching my sims and how they work out and then i could have known it all little did i know who are you hold on i like your outfit don't walk away i want to see your outfit you look so cute why do all of a sudden can we just take a moment that this is like the fourth or fifth townie that walked in here that actually looked looks like a normal sim. And I don't mean that necessarily in like, oh, she's pretty or anything, but like she has a normal outfit and not like very weird makeup in combination with her clothes. And this dude as well, he's like, yes, he has quite expressive makeup and it's definitely a choice. But other than that, 
that. I feel like his outfit at least is appropriate for a gym. Oh my God, Malcolm is here. Dad, I don't want to talk to you. Like, we're going to yell at him. We're going to be like, no. I what are you doing here? Why are you... Argue about morals. Oh, that's a good one. He's like... Dad, why do you show up at my gym? Like, haven't I made it clear that I want nothing to do with you? I've already told you many times to so leave me alone, and I can't believe you just invade my life like this. What are you doing here? Go away. I love how Malcolm actually fights back. He's like, no, but I want to be part of your life, son. I know I've made mistakes in the past, but you can't just write me off like this. Let's brush him off. Let's be like, go away, dad. I don't want you here. Go away. He's not listening. He's like, idiot. How hard can it be to understand what I'm telling you? I don't want you in my life. Okay. I think it is time for him to realize he's like, no, you know what? I don't want to be here. My dad's showing up at the gym. That's that's like not what I want. So I'm going to tell him to go away because I want to take a relaxing shower after my long workout and I don't want him here. He's going to go upstairs. No, he's not even leaving. Asshole. Let's go take a shower. Let's take a thoughtful shower. We need that after after this incident. Oh no, he's feeling sick. Oh, poor dude. How are we even family? Yeah, that's a good question. Go take a nice, long, hot shower where you can overthink your life. This is like a really good place to overthink your life and overthink your life's decisions. Although I think in his case, he's mostly just gonna find confirmation for the fact that, yes, actually, it was a good thing that he and his dad, like, that he moved out and stole from his dad. Also, what was, what is going on here? It was red why was it red i think because his reputation went down by the way if his reputation goes all the way down because he has a bad relationship with his dad i don't think i'm gonna keep that i'll just cheat it back up because i don't think he deserves to have a negative reputation simply because his dad is like a jerk but i do think it's time for him to travel home he had a good workout until his dad showed up at the gym and he had to make sure that he would get the hell out of there but he's just gonna travel home and then he's just gonna relax it's his day off he doesn't have any studying to do anymore this is like maybe the the first time that he genuinely doesn't have much to do since we started playing with yule this is the first time that he can like take a proper breath and just relax for a little bit the only thing that i think he misses is the fact that he's living all by himself who are you and why are you in my house are you the lady with the eyebrows hold on is she the one with the weird lip gloss let's see in cat uh, or in mc command center and then mc dresser change outfit i don't remember what she oh she has a lot of questionable outfits doesn't she i don't think I think she's the one with the weird lipstick but she could have been judging by this but who are you and why are you in my apartment can you not be in my apartment please that'd be great but i was just saying he's really sad for like being so lonely so maybe he wants to get a pet a pet i always struggle with saying the word pet correctly in a sentence i always want to say pet really weird and obviously while living in, the, in an apartment it's not very ideal to get a dog and also he's probably gonna be away from home quite a lot but how about we get a cat you know he used to have a cat in his old house with his parents and i think he's missing the cat so household that's actually if we call adoption agency yeah okay adopt a cat i was like can i also call the adoption agency for a cat instead of a human oh my god mr wiggles i feel for you i feel for you in that outfit oh nibbler is really cute also sumi is really cute oh my god sumi is actually a kitten but sumi is already neutered also fiona what you're very mysterious i think fiona was a guest star in dune you can't tell me i'm wrong because it's just facts but let's get sumi i think actually sumi is cute and i would like to get a kitten because then we have like maximum time with them nibbler is also a kitten though might invite over both and then kind of like get to know their traits a little bit wait did she only show up with one? Oh no oh they're so cute ah i can't deal with kittens in the sims like they are so adorable like just look at them oh look at them wobble okay i made a mistake because i i was gonna get like both of them over and then check their traits but now that i've seen both of them i don't think i can i can let one of them go oh my god did you see the big paw stretch oh i have issues i literally feel so much love for animated cats in this game that is like what am i supposed to do okay they're spoiled that's not an ideal trait and i also don't want to cheat their traits i like the idea of like actually keeping their personality so if one of them is really annoying i'll, I'll i might get rid of them frisky i don't think i actually know what that trait means i've seen the word before but i don't think i know the definition of it too well yeah, sure, lady. Just step on the cat. Aloof. Okay, that's actually kind of a cute one. I like that one. Let's get to know the other one as well. Sumi and Nibbler. Oh, they're so cute and so tiny. I mean, we do have the money to just get both. Playful. He has a single and loving it lifestyle. I can get behind that. Mischievous. Okay. Oof. Did he not? Hold on. You still have one trait to discover, bestie. Get to know. Oh, and frisky means also playful or full of energy. Okay, that's really cute, actually. Oh my god, look at the cat. <gasps> Where did he go? 
No! Fluffy. Okay, I'll take that. Where's my cat? I mean, I can... Where? Where's my cat? Did you go outside? Where are you? I know these days kittens can't use elevators again and they can go outside. They fixed that in the last patch. They shouldn't have fixed it. I lost my cat. <gasps> there you are. Uh -oh. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's make sure to add you to our house. Oh my God. Are you going to go all the way outside? You've got to be kidding me. Yes. I want to have you as my cat. Where are you? Oh. Sumi. Okay, I'm gonna keep the names. I think the names are actually really cute. <sighs> this game is gonna get, make me cry. <laughs> Look at the little tiny cat. <laughs> Look at them. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. Okay, okay. now we quickly need to go home, walk here, and then we need to adopt Nibbler as well. And you're just staying outside in the snow. Silly cat. Such a silly cat. We're gonna call you over in a second. Yes. Yay! Okay, now we have two cats. Let's call you over, and then we're gonna uh, end adoption evaluation. And let's actually get them some stuff because we need obviously we need a cat tree and i get to use my cc for this i have so much cute cc for pets that i don't often use or get to use so we obviously need a litter box price difference is not that much and it is very convenient to have this although with an open shower i'm actually not sure if that's gonna work let's see if that works and then let's get a nice pet bed is that that's a big one that's a small one let's get that one. Oh, that's cute i like that blue color a lot and then we need to to have a place for them to get some food in the morning let's get those because i know that this one it, it kind of looks like you actually have two pet bowls so one bowl for each pet that's actually quite cute and then they need something where they can scratch and i really like this one i would like to get this one irl and i think maybe in the future i would like to have this one if we like ever move into a house where we have some more space obviously this is a little bit silly in an apartment but that's really nice on a porch and then i also have like these little cats and dogs houses which are super adorable i also have oh hold on i think i like that more even let's get that one. Oh, that's so cute i am so excited and then also if we ever get a dog or something like i have this really nice dog shower specifically maybe we can also get a toy box because cats also have toys right there we go now he has the ultimate cat dad apartment oh my goodness he now has two cats let's make sure to fill the bowl and call pet to eat maybe we actually need two of those because otherwise they're gonna complain that one of them has food and then they finish it and then the other one doesn't have food so also you know what i just realized switching into build mode and live mode there's no longer like the weird simulation lag and everything i don't have to escape first to fix it okay the patch that they they released actually is really good so far and i don't even have direct x enabled if you if you're not familiar with that make sure to check out if your computer supports direct x for the game because i've heard reports from people that the game runs insanely smooth if you run the game through direct x there's like an official instruction on the sims block on how to enable it if you're playing with mods it's recommended to not enable it yet because it kind of glitches a bit with mods so i don't even have it enabled yet when they're a kitten this bowl is a little bit cursed but it doesn't matter because we have two cats and they are adorable this is so cute i'm so excited okay i feel like this might be a good time it's like the end of the day on monday a good time for me to kind of wrap up this episode he's just gonna have some food okay he can have tofurky for dinner instead of more grilled cheese i think it's okay but that means that in the next episode we are actually gonna join him to work uh, and i feel like this is really cute this is a good evolution of his storyline of him like deciding to get some pets because he's a little bit lonely he's not really ready to move in with other people yet obviously he had quite a bad experience with his parents betraying him that badly he had another fight with his dad so he kind of wants his own space to be able to retreat still but maybe eventually he'll he'll move in with yuki let me know in the comments down below if that's something that you enjoy uh, also let me know what you think of the cat because i kind of just improvised there and i'm very happy about it because it makes me happy but i would love to hear your thoughts but with that i think i'm gonna end the episode here for today i can't wait to continue playing next week when we're gonna explore the detective career thank you all so much for watching i really appreciate it if you haven't liked this video yet please do toss it a cheeky like because it does help the video get to more people and if you're not subscribed to the channel yet this would be a perfect moment to do so and with all of that being said thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye everyone